Hi guys, Doug here. Today I'd like to show you a couple of machines I made. And what they do is uh, they're for high yield uh, and efficient loading of pine carts. And uh, these uh, may seem a little bit slow to you, but uh, be advised I am dealing with very large uh, quantities of items. So uh, these could be suited to an SMP server. And any one of these machines could probably uh, keep up to keep up with a three to four man mining crew. And uh, well, let's see. Oh, let's do snowballs, four stacks, just because it's still be be a little bit quicker. This simulates four stacks of items. And uh, all three machines, they basically operate the same with uh, little variations. This one, it fills up this crate. And once the uh, crate's full, it'll transfer them over to here. Like, oh, all right. Already doing it. And you might be thinking, that's not very fast or efficient. That's only four stacks. If, say, I had 100 stacks or something, and uh, or, like, say, I had you know 50 chests connected to this the the more the more items that you pass through this the more the higher the efficiency was because uh... well let's do that again I'll show you like uh... as soon as these uh... shoot off I'll load the other two and well there we go. By the time those unload, this will be full again. Ready to just get in there. So, uh, well, I'll show you my, my three designs. <coughs> this one's the largest, but it's probably, uh, it's, it's definitely the most, uh, complex because, uh, uses a, a chest with hopper underneath it and uh, it just needs a lot of uh, a lot of control and a uh, bunch of uh, I'm trying to turn off hoppers in close proximity so I have circuits going all over the place just trying not to interfere with everything else and as you can see the chest sit here nice and obediently and uh, even just one item one atom at a time it works but if that's not what you want all you gotta do is let's say uh, one item I know uh, I saw a request for one that would never leave until the chest got full so as you can see now one item that's not full but if all you cared about was having getting them having them uh, load up until there's nothing else to load up then that's what that circuit is for alright so let's start off this is the first one I came up with the first one that actually worked and what it has is this uh, snake of five hoppers each hopper holds five slots. This holds 27 slots, so five times five, 25. This will hold up uh, 25 slots, two empty. And uh, it just keeps on filling up until uh, this one right here, the sixth hopper, when it starts getting items in it, what happens is this comparator goes off and uh, once it gets two fifteenths, I think, two things happen. One, this torch turns off, which turns on that torch, which turns off that hopper to prevent overflow of that that topper. And two, this goes over here, and uh, well, let's see. Uh, where is it? Well, why? Okay, well, it. I guess that's it. That is it. 
goes down here, hits this old uh, old style uh, minus double circuit, which sends a pulse over here, resetting this R snore latch. That's only what that's what happens when it gets completely full. What happens, like say, if you, with the one item? What happens with the the hopper will go empty, which will turn on this one, which it's on right now. Turn that off, and it'll go all the way down here. But what also would happen was, since this now has an item in it, this would turn on, turn off that. Whoa. And it uh, turn off that, which would turn that on, which would uh, flip the R store latch right there. <coughs> and uh, that's about it. The rest of it's just uh, oh, wait. And uh, up here, these uh, minus double circuits they get fired when only when that empties out. So, uh, so I'd like we put one right there. There you go. See? Uh, and, uh, well, well, the only thing that that does is it should launch that. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Um, our store latch, it controls comes into here which turns off that hopper and turns that on then when they get flipped it turns off or turns on that hopper and uh, turns off that and that is about it just about as compacted as I could get it at the that I thought and it turns out that it's just about as compact as I could get it because this is just a jumble of wires all over the place and it's just one shorter. This is actually six tall instead of seven. Got the R store latch in the back and uh, it kind of it shoots off the lights in reverse. It uh, see uh, these turn on uh, that which turns off that which will turn off that. But it basically works the same way, just all, uh, you know, the only the only thing that's different is that when, uh, say, there's just one item in it, oh, let's see if I can, as you can see, the R Storm Lash never actually got, uh, got flipped. It, uh, it only flips if it's all the way full. But what also happens is uh, same thing, the overload circuit, this will, well that's already off because that's empty, but when that has an item in it that'll turn off, which will stop pairing that, it'll turn that on, and uh, that's it. And uh, what keeps it from flipping is that torch, but I haven't really done all that much testing on this one. Really, I tested the, my first one quite a bit. This one probably has the least amount of testing, but uh, it does work with that torch, but it may work without the torch. And uh, you can see here, this is a the minus double circuit, the over the low circuit. It's kind of, see when uh, there's dust on here, that'll activate there. And then uh, there's just right here, and I had to make it this way. It powers that block and that block, which powers that, which stops powering these. But there's extra power right there, which comes over here and flips our snore latch. So, uh, yeah, and uh, and it, it works pretty good. Um, top of the machine is this, this chest right here. What did I do before that? And again, uh, if you don't want it to go with just less than as full as you can get, just take out these torches. And okay, that went on, so these should yeah, be loading up. 
Oh, on all three of mine, I have these little item destroyer machines too. It's just a comparator to a dropper to a cloth that shoots out the dropper, and then there's lava in there. And uh, let's see. The last one, it's kind of a. Uh, I was just trying to fill up the chest all the way. What it does is it uh, comes in and it fills up this chest. And to uh, to switch it, the same things have to happen. Either this has to have two fists. To uh, you know, basically the current to go all the way down here, and it it does the same thing or to have an item in here and that be empty and uh, and then the thing will shoot off when when this hopper is empty Ooh, how do I get in here alright let's go down up alright and uh, let's see that hopper is connected to there it's kinda hard to, I got these comparators hooked up to each other which is or right next to each other and all this is overflow protection and uh, I don't know that uh, the same RS nor latch should be uh, right here this is it this is the underflow protection circuit they're, bas they're basically all even well this one and this one are definitely set up even laid out pretty pretty uh, much the same but uh, it's just you know this one has uh, nine. The bottom is these these four little blocks right here. Uh, there's probably a way to make it a little bit quicker or smaller. But uh, it works fine, and uh, pretty much these things are unbreakable. The only way that you can break it is to say have uh, this completely full and then like one item over here and that hopper and, and uh, so it won't have two fifteenths full but even if you have uh, say exactly you know exactly have that full that'll be empty so uh, you gotta plan out pretty good to break this Another way to break it is to send a full minecart back, one that's not empty. Even you know one item in the minecart can break it. And uh, let's see, I'm gonna show you something. And uh, these are non-stackable items, so uh, they kind of break it but uh, not really it's just at a very reduced output see only two at a time but you could have it do more at a time just by adjusting the timers but just be careful you don't want them to have too much of a delay because you don't want this hopper down here to get empty if you don't want it don't want it to get empty and uh, let's see and uh, well that is about it all three of them they all have the same uh, pros and cons they just set up a little that one set up a little bit different than these two and uh, what else like oh like I said before these are really meant for just you know, bulk shipping. Like say, uh, you have a big mine, you could build one of these in S&P with three of your buddies, and then you can have unload stations at the top, and all go off your separate directions, and this should be able to handle all three of your, or all four of your outputs. And, uh, well, that is about it. Thank you for watching. If you want schematics or any suggestions, anything, I'd be happy to hear. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.